what are the symptoms of macular degeneration? Well, macular degeneration usually affects both eyes, but often one eye to a greater extent than the other. People with early macular degeneration may notice difficulty in poor lighting or problems going from a light to dark environment and adapting to a change in light intensity, taking longer to get used to the new lighting in the new environment. Some people when driving on a bright sunny day, when going into an avenue of trees for instance, might find the light dark, light dark sequence going in and out of the trees very difficult to cope with. Some people are also, in early stages of macular degeneration, aware first thing in the morning of a blurred patch in their central vision which quickly fades on waking, or problems if they have to get up in the middle of the night and find it difficult to go to the toilet until they've adapted to having the lights on. Dry macular degeneration usually results in gradual loss of central vision, which is reading, writing and recognising faces vision. And it affects both eyes, but normally one eye more than the other. Sometimes the reading is difficult due to the print becoming patchy. Some patients with dry macular degeneration also notice some distortion of vision with straight lines or the horizon at sea looking a bit crooked. Dry macular degeneration causes a gradual change in central vision, but wet macular degeneration usually causes a sudden blur or distortion of central vision in one eye and requires urgent attention. This is because with wet macular change, the abnormal blood vessels that grow into the retina can suddenly rupture, causing hemorrhage and leakage. The bump in the retina results in a bump in your vision and hence the sudden onset of distortion of vision noted in patients with wet macular change. Sometimes, unfortunately, as wet macular degeneration usually only affects one eye at a time, the symptoms can go unnoticed if the unaffected eye has good vision and may only be brought to your attention when you happen to cover your good eye and then realise that there is poor vision in the affected eye. Patients with more severe central visual loss in both eyes may develop disturbing visual hallucinations and this is called Charles Bonnet syndrome. These can take many forms and range from coloured patterns to fully formed images of people and objects. They can be very disturbing to patients when initially noted uh, but usually do become less troublesome with time and the patient is often reassured when told what it is and the fact that it is common in people with poor vision and that there is nothing sinister about these sorts of symptoms.